Miss Orange. Oh, hi, Very Kin Bloom. Thank you so much for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh, no, it's fun. And I love the built-in hopometer. Janiebug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berrykin Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. Oh, no, I mean, look. The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <sighs> My goodness, how catchy are these um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything?
anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, Bosley. Bosley. <laughs> Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. <gasps> I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh, well... Think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh. What? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? <gasps> Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> uh, 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 oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, 
I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon, don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? Mm, no. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh, oh, well, uh, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in very bitty world. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge. Today's the day. You ready? Wow, you look like the world's biggest souffle. Is that good? No, that's great. Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh. 
Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak, the more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh. I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss Meringue, are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> oh. oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. <gasps> now, now. It's best not to exert yourself, my dear. <laughs> oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh! You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Bloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. 
It is? Yes. It's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness. Uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface. It all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Verican Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! understand what it's for. This! Wow! That looks like so much fun! on each other's shoulders rule. I know what it needs. No match for two birds. Uh-huh. 
I better get back to my store. Oh, same here. <laughs> Me too. What a fun day this has been. This is a great game you invented, Orange. What do you call it? Uh, I don't know. It's a ball stuffed with dandelion fluff. So how about we call it Dandy Ball? Yes, <gasps> Dandy Ball. Great. <laughs> The little berry can tiptoed up the stairs of the cat. Outside. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't imagine a more perfect day for a needle pointing picnic. <laughs> Pointing today? Well, we got so caught up in the excitement of Dandy Ball. So, we thought maybe we'd finish our picnic in here. <laughs> so, you know, we won't get distracted. <laughs> Hi, Plum. Hi, Strawberry. I was wondering if I could ask a favor. Of course. What do you need? I need some help clearing part of the meadow. Sure, I'd be glad to help. <gasps> so, what are we clearing this for, Plum? So I'll have space to use for my dance recital. Wait a minute. I thought the dance recital was going to be near the gazebo. It was. But with Dandy Ball being so popular, I thought it'd be easier to just move. Hmm. There's plenty of room outside for everyone. Dandy Ball shouldn't be getting in anybody's way. And there should be plenty of room to play Dandy Ball, too. Right! Everyone should be able to enjoy themselves and the outdoors with just a bit of planning. Oh, yeah, yes. of course! Yes. Yes. Good idea! So, who should do the planning? I'd volunteer, but I have to finish the costumes for Plum's recital first. That's right! Hmm. And I need to practice. Who would be good? Well, since I was the one who sort of got the ball rolling... Make that floating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be the one to figure out a way to keep things fair for everybody. Maybe I could figure out, oh, I don't know, some sort of schedule. Oh, what about Lemon? Me? <laughs> yeah! You schedule appointments all day, and the problem here seems to be all about scheduling. Huh. I guess it is about scheduling. Okay, I'll give it a try. Is that okay with you, Orange? You did volunteer first. Oh, no problem. I think Raspberry's right. Lemon will do a really good job. Besides, I'm pretty busy with my store right now. And with the new game, I've kind of gotten behind. I'll see you later. Okay, Orange. See you later. Once upon a time, there was a big baby berrykin who loved to do somersaults. Mmm, I love that story. What's going on? How come everyone is just standing around? We're waiting for Blueberry's hour to be up so we can play again. Oh, where is Blueberry? Oh, she finished a while ago and went back to her store. 
So why don't you just go ahead and play? Lemon Schedule says we can't until Blueberry's hour is up. But that doesn't make... This doesn't seem quite right. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hey, hi, Strawberry. Strawberry. Is Lemon around? <laughs> Hi, Lemon. How's it going? Oh, fine, fine. Almost got this worked out, I think. One hour for watering plants, one for tasting jam. You know, Lemon, maybe an hour is too long for some activities and too short for some others. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I didn't need a whole hour to read to the Berrykins. And the Berrykins needed more than an hour to play dandy ball. Gee, I hadn't thought of it that way. I'm used to making salon appointments by the hour. I know I can figure this out, but it's taking forever. I don't have any time to do my hair appointments. Maybe someone else could take over while I get caught up? Well, I'm pretty busy, but I suppose... Oh, oh, you know who'd be good at this? Blueberry! Plum's right! Me? Well, yeah, now that I think about it. Research, detail, figuring out numbers. Those are things you're really good at. Well, I do enjoy those things. Okay, I'll do my very best. Oh, thank you. This is great. Here, I'll help you move all the papers. Are you okay with Blueberry taking over the scheduling? Oh, sure. It's the kind of thing she's good at. She's bound to figure out what's best for everyone. Ooh, I still have lots to do in the store. Better get back to it. Bye. Bye, Orange. Hmm. Aha! Just as I thought. Yes, I think that's it. The longitudinal lines have days of the week. Rectangles represent dandy ball. Here's quilting a square. Story time for the baby barricans is a hexagon. Plum's dance recitals are circles. The book fair, two squares. Well, now that takes care of nine o'clock Tuesday morning. Now on to Wednesday. Uh, hang on, this is Monday. Uh, hang on. Uh, <laughs> well, um, that concludes the presentation portion of my, um, presentation. But I made a copy of everyone's schedules in handy pocket size, so you can always carry it around. Here you go. This is for you. Here's yours. Uh, here you are. Here you go. This is yours. One for you and one for you. And... Well, this is really great, Blueberry. Lots of, um, details. And so thorough. But I don't mind telling you, figuring this out was a bit more complicated than I thought. I'm sure it'll work out just fine once everyone gets the hang of it. <gasps> What's going on? It's supposed to be my turn for the book fair. I thought I got to have my gymnastics class now, but they all think they get to do their activities now. It's right here, then. I checked twice. I know it's my turn. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> That's not it. Aha! The outdoors gets used now for... Jadybug's surprise birthday party. My birthday isn't for two more months. Wait, what surprise party? I know it's here. I just saw it. I'm sorry, everyone. Listen, we all like dandy ball, right? So for now, let's all play. And I'll try to figure out a better schedule. <laughs> Why not? Okay, dokey. Might as well. Lovely idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, this was trickier than I thought. I think I can straighten out the rest of the day. 
but maybe one of you could give it a try after that. How about you, Raspberry? Oh, well, I'd be happy to try, but I think the perfect person is... You, Strawberry! After all, you schedule activities in the cafe. Maybe, but I wonder if Orange shouldn't give it a try first. <laughs> Orange? Sure. Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not that we don't think she can do it. Oh, no. I mean, she's great at thinking fast. Excellent. But sometimes she kind of... Uh, jumps into things? Yeah. And she's never had to do this kind of planning before. None of us have had to do this kind of planning before. I think if we give Orange a chance, she'll surprise everyone, including herself. Hi, everyone! What's going on? Well, Strawberry had this idea, and we wanted to know what you think of it. Her idea is that maybe you should try to organize the outdoor areas. I don't know if I would be good at that kind of thing. Planning, organizing, scheduling. And I really do have a lot of work in the store right now. What work do you have to do, Orange? Well, I have to keep track of what people have bought so that I know what I have to reorder. I have to figure out where to put everything I've ordered once it comes in. And I have to put everything in its special place on the shelf so that everyone can find what they're looking for. Then I have to do my weekly calendar, you know, where I schedule which days I clean the store, which days I stock the shelves. Sounds like a lot of planning, organizing, and scheduling. Oh, it is. That's why I don't have much time to... What are you all smiling about? Because everything you just said is about planning and organizing and scheduling. Exactly the kind of planning, organizing, and scheduling the community areas need. And I should know. Oh, hi, everyone. Oh, this seemed like a pretty big job at first. But I realized it was just like working in my store. I had to start with one activity, then move on to the others. But why didn't I think of that? So I broke it into smaller jobs, and the first job was to organize the game of Dandy Ball. Of course, that makes so much sense. So, I set up six teams. Everyone can sign up to be on a team over there. I'm gonna be on the orange team, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out how long it usually takes to play one game. Then added how many games we have to play a week to finish a month-long season. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are dandy ball days. I worked out the whole season. There's even a championship! Oh, yay! <laughs> Once I had the game figured out, I was able to fit everything else into the rest of the week. <laughs> yes! Here's Raspberry's fashion show. Oh, that's perfect. Two hours is just the right amount of time I need to set up. And these are perfect times for story reading. The baby bearkins are awake. All my gymnastics classes are scheduled for when the breeze is nice and cool. And here are the smaller versions of the schedule. Wow, Orange, it looks like you thought of everything. We wish we could have been more helpful. You can be. There are a few things we could still use. Oh, hey! Those teams will need uniforms. I can definitely design them. And Dandy Ball should have a rule book. I've always wanted to write an official rule book. Oh, the team should have someone to cheer them on. I'll go work up some cheerleading routines. Oh, wow, Orange. I'm so sorry we ever questioned whether you could do this. I questioned it, too. It was Strawberry who got me to realize I could do it. The only way to find out what you can do well is to give it a try. Or to find out what you don't do so well. Orange, wait up! Oh, you were amazing! I'm just glad I could help. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Maybe you could help me reorganize the post office. Sure, J.D. Buck. I'd be glad to. Orange, I need to ask a favor. Certainly, Princess. What can I do for you? I wonder if you could help get the Berry Works to run a bit more smoothly. 
I'll certainly give it a try. Right after I help Jittybug with the post office. There you are. I've been trying to come up with a better way to sort all the books in my store. Maybe you could... Help you organize? Sure. Right after I help Jittybug and Princess Burrigan. 